Need a dose of hope today? Let's turn to Michelle Obama's powerful words. At the Democratic National Convention, Michelle Obama delivered a speech that touched hearts and minds. She spoke about the importance of hope and unity, resonating with many who feel overwhelmed by today's challenges. Michelle shared the values her parents instilled in her, believing in the inherent worth of every person and the power of collective well-being. They didn't chase wealth, but focused on creating opportunity and success for everyone. Her message? Reject fear and division. Embrace hope and work together for a brighter future. Michelle reminded us of the sacrifices made by previous generations, urging us to honor their legacy by striving for a more just and equitable society. Feeling inspired? Remember, together, we can build a future filled with hope. Let's make it happen. Now, un unfortunately, we know what comes next. We know folks are going to do everything they can to distort her truth. My husband and I sadly know a little something about this. For years, Donald Trump did everything in his power to try to make people fear us. See, his, his limited, narrow view of the world made him feel threatened by the existence of two hard-working, highly educated, successful people who happen to be black. tell him that the job he's currently seeking might just be one of those black jobs. It's up to us to remember what Kamala's mother told her. Don't just sit around and complain. Do something. So if they lie about her, and they will, we've got to do something. If we see a bad poll, and we will, we got to put down that phone and do something. So, consider this to be your official ask. Michelle Obama is asking you, no, I'm telling y'all, to do something. The other side knows. It's easier to play on people's fears and cynicism, always has been. They will tell you that government is inherently corrupt, that, that sacrifice and generosity are for suckers. And since the game is rigged, it's OK to take what you want and, and just look after your own. That's the easy path. We have a different task. Our job is to convince people that democracy can actually deliver. And, and in doing that, we can't just point to what we've already accomplished. We can't just rely on the ideas of the past. We need to chart a new way forward to meet the challenges of today. And Kamala understands this. Our politics have become so polarized these days that all of us across the political spectrum seem so quick to assume the worst in others unless they agree with us on every single issue. We start thinking that the only way to win is to scold and shame and out-yell the other side. And after a while, regular folks just tune out, or they don't bother to vote. Now, that approach may work for the politicians who just want attention and thrive on division, but it won't work for us to make progress on the things we care about, the things that really affect people's lives. We, we need to remember that we've all got our blind spots and, and contradictions and, and prejudices, and that if we want to win over those who aren't yet ready to support our candidates, we need to listen to their concerns and maybe learn something in the process. We recognize that the world is moving fast, that they need time and maybe a little encouragement to catch up. Our fellow citizens deserve the same grace we hope they'll extend to us.
That's how we can build a true democratic majority, one that can get things done. And by the way, that does not just matter to the people in this country. The rest of the world is watching to see if we can actually pull this off. And that's why when we uphold our values, the world's a little brighter. When we don't, the world's a little dimmer. And dictators and autocrats feel emboldened. And over time, we become less safe. We shouldn't be the world's policemen, and we can't eradicate every cruelty and injustice in the world. But America can be and must be a force for good. Discouraging conflict, fighting disease, promoting human rights, protecting the planet from climate change, defending freedom, brokering peace. That's what Kamala Harris believes, and so do most Americans.